Venus is the ancient Roman goddess of love and beauty, but it's a nasty, nasty planet. Uh, the clouds are made of sulfuric acid. Uh, the temperature on the surface is nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Venus has an atmospheric pressure almost 100 times greater than the Earth's, and so the actual environment on Venus is just incredibly hostile. Lower left of Venus, you'll see a star all by itself, and that is the planet Mercury. Uh, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It's the most elusive planet. That is, there's not many times during the year where it's easily visible. And uh, ever since they booted Pluto out of the planet world, Mercury has taken its place as the smallest planet. To the upper right of Venus, uh, you'll see another star, uh, and that star is actually Saturn. And uh, Saturn, of course, is the beautiful ringed planet. Uh, whenever anybody looks at Saturn for the first time in our telescopes, they, uh, we always get an ooh and an ah from them. It really is quite, quite beautiful. A common uh, remark is that it looks fake or phony, as if somebody's dangling a slide in front of the telescope or something. Uh, but it all, always gets a reaction. And as we move farther to the west, beyond Saturn, we come to Mars. And Mars is pretty easily identified. It has a very distinctive reddish or amber color to it. And uh, so it does stand out for, from the other stars and planets. And uh, Mars has been the focus of quite a bit of attention lately in terms of uh, exploration. We have two rovers on Mars uh, actively exploring Mars. We have an armada of spacecraft in orbit around Mars right now. And that's because of all the planets in the solar system, Mars is the most Earth-like in terms of climate and uh, you know, temperature and so forth, although it's bitterly cold most of the time. Uh, we think long ago it was much more Earth-like, and we think there may be a chance life got started on Mars. And uh, the planet Jupiter is the one farthest off to the west and completes this, this planetary alignment in the early morning. Jupiter is the biggest planet by far. In fact, it's bigger than all the other planets put together. And like Saturn, it's one of the gas giants. It's made largely of gases and liquids with no solid surface at all. It's a very interesting planet to look at in a telescope. Uh, you can easily see the four brightest moons of Jupiter. They look like little stars right next to it in a telescope.